content, which these guys are going to tell you about. Roll with it. Okay, ready? Yeah, we're ready. Thank you. All right, so it's Jeff, Zach, Greg, and the This Week in Straight Down the Middle Pinball podcast and online news site. Hello, everybody, and welcome. <laughs> hey. How's everybody doing? Why did I get the weird mic? Because you're weird. All right. Well, it's supposed to say, this week in pinball, straight down the middle, the seminar, but I don't know, I don't, formatting issues, I suppose, on this computer, so. Now we're at the seminar. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Some of my favorite people. I see Brian. Hey, Ryan. Clip. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Give them a give them the introductory to our. Uh, how do we start every video? Give them one of those. Let's kick this shit. That's right. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit about what straight down the middle is, without boring you to death. All right, Greg. When did we start this thing off? This is a YouTube video show for pinball. Uh, we do a, a lot of different things. We'll get to that in a minute. But tell the people how we met. Do you remember? I, um, my wife makes fun of me a little bit and says that Zach is my uh, internet boyfriend because I met him on Craigslist. I was going to say, where's that going? That's not how we met. Because uh, I was kicking the tires on a Dracula that I found on there. And uh, I'd just gotten into pinball, so I was still really, I'm still leery. I, I can't say that I was leery then because I'm still leery of anything I buy. But um, so I was kicking the tires on the game, called him to probably two or three times. And, you know, he knew I wasn't going to buy the game. And he ended up coming out and he said, hey, man, you know what? He's like, I'm kind of new to pinball. Um, if you ever want to talk about some pins and stuff, give me a call sometime. And so I was just like, well, this guy's kind of weird. And well, I'm not just going to call him talk about pinball. So month or so later he had a demo man and I saw that on Craigslist and I was like oh, that's the same guy and so we ended up talking and we'd start talking about a couple other games and then one of us would go on a pin run and we'd talk about how shitty a pin was that we went to see or how great it was. Are there any we, kids in the audience yeah, here? Sorry. Yeah, a cursor. And see if we uh, mark. <laughs> if we have uh, you know anything and we just we, we slowly evolved and started talking about pinball on a weekly basis then it sort of turned into like a daily basis and Zach was like hey man you know what he's like the stuff that we're talking about it's kind of funny and it's kind of good he's like there's no reason that we shouldn't be getting this content together and putting it out there kind of uh, you know exposing the world to uh, our opinions for better or worse and at the time everything was kind of serious it was, right. yeah. We started the show with more of a serious note, and then our, our personalities kind of uh, took over. Well, and we knew we wouldn't be able to be as serious as the good guys like Papa or Buffalo Pinball, or, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah. We so weren't we gave those, up quickly. Yeah, we weren't those kind of players. Thing. So yeah. it, we just, we literally, it evolved into how we were on the phone, and uh, our, our true personalities took over, and it was kind of the birth of straight down the middle, and we'd gotten together. Yes, sir. Oh. Can we, can we steal that? I like that. Thank you. <laughs> it's another t-shirt. Right yeah. There. So that's basically the birth of Straight Down the Middle. I mean, that's how we got started. We just, and then we become really good friends. Um, and We got started based on our true personalities. You yeah. kicking the tires on every damn pinball machine on Craigslist. And then me loving to talk to any and everybody that loves pinball. Yeah. And giving my opinion on everything <laughs> pinball. So that's Sometimes we, when it wasn't wanted. But. That's how we started. So then we started uh, the show. The first ones, if you guys aren't familiar, it's a YouTube show. Uh, it's on, you can type in SDT and pinball. You'll find all of our videos. Uh, the first ones were a little rough. So excuse us on what, 1 through 20, 30? <laughs> yeah. It, it took us a while. A little rough. Know, we, 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 our age really showed, uh, which we're still young guys, but it, we, we oh, felt finally we? out of the loop 
because uh, most of our difficulties were technology, yes. getting the sound right, uh, lighting and everything else. Acoustics. Yeah. We're in the garage. I mean, it was... Yeah, it echoed. So, so here, literally in the last month out of two years, we've probably started to solidify the sound and lighting and camera work and stuff a little better. Um, but most of that's thanks to, you know, all of our fans that have bought shirts yep. and Absolutely. have supported us. Um, with donations and stuff, that's given us the ability to do things like come here and to finally buy better equipment yeah. uh, to bring a lot better. Well, because one, one of the things about Greg that many of you know, some of you might not, is that he is a thrifty little guy and he does not like spending money if he doesn't have to. So when we started this, he said, because I was like, okay, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to buy this studio thing, I'm going to buy this. And he was like, no, absolutely not. If we're going to do this, we're doing it on a low budget because you're going to spend too much money. I'm going to feel bad for not spending any money because I won't. Uh, so we had to do it on a shoestring budget. And then we started getting T-shirts. You guys have been wonderful. I see a beautiful STTM T-shirt right there. Thank you, Cliff. Uh, thank you, Cliff. So that kind of stuff helped us upgrade equipment. And we continue to try to grow and improve that, don't we? Yeah. And, and even with editing everything, I mean, we've grown a lot as a show uh, just with Zach's editing and everything else. Just, again, to, to try to bring the best pinball content that we can within reviews, top tens, interviews. Uh, you know, we try to bring a plethora of stuff to the pinball world. You guys, my, my formatting was so good on this PowerPoint, I promise you. It didn't look like this. I saw it beforehand, I right? can vouch for that. Thank it looks really nice. Uh, it's okay. All right, so what, what does Straight Down the Middle do? The videos themselves are composed of different types of discussion points. So some of our videos will be machine reviews, where we try to review the newest machines that come out from Stern, Jersey Jack, uh, Spooky, et cetera. So we'll do those. We even dive down into the 90s, right, that I pick up. It's usually whatever I pick up, uh, we'll review those. We review them based on a number of different categories, you know, art, toys and mechs, animation, sound, all different types of things. We give them a letter grade. So a rubric, if you will, from A plus all the way down to an F. We haven't. We haven't given an F for anything, right? No, no, I don't think so. So we'll do that, and then we compose a, a cumulative score at the very end, and then that score is taken, and it's compared uh, with all the other pinball machines uh, for reference point. So that's our machine reviews. What's your, what is your top machine to date? Oh, that's good. Mine is oh, Indiana geez. Jones Pinball Adventure. That was a 4.0 for me. I think Indy's mine, too. Yeah, I don't know if it's a 4.0, but yeah, it's no, close. It's a, I don't think it's 4.0, but I think yeah. it's my top. So that was... There, there we see. go. Huh? Hope you guys agree with us. So, it's not a perfect system, but it's fun. Top 10 list, we do those as well, where we come up with maybe something like top 10 ramps, and then we list out what our favorite top 10 ramps are. Uh, we'll do things like top 10 code, top 10 back glass. Just, you guys can think of the number of things that you can rank top 10s for in pinball. The good thing about that is that nothing is objective. Uh, it's just our subjective response and ideas about what makes pinball what it is and put it in the top 10 list. But the nice thing is that everybody collaborates. All, every, all of you viewers, uh, we talk on Facebook, we talk on Pinsa, we talk on YouTube. So it starts a nice discussion as to what other people's favorite top 10s are. And it's, a, it's a nice little sub form that we have in YouTube uh, and on pin side, so that's fun. Exclusives, we try to do as much exclusive stuff as we can and as much as manufacturers will allow us to do. Um, we just did the Oktoberfest, a uh, nice deep dive into uh, the mechanics, and Josh Kugler was nice enough to meet with us before that reveal so we could edit a video for you guys. So if you haven't checked that out, check out Oktoberfest, Pinball on Tap, uh, the inside and out of that. We also do first impressions. These are, you know, Deadpool comes out, and then Greg and I hop in front of the camera, and we give you our first impressions on what we think about things like the art, everything that we can't play yet, because whenever they announce things, we can't play it. We do interviews, interviews with local coin-op people, collectors. A lot of you guys, or if you're like me, I like to hear what other collectors like and what their machines are and what their collections look like and why they like Lethal Weapon 3 better than Medieval Madness. Different things like that. So we, we when, when's the last one you've done? You went to yeah. Rec Bar, didn't you? Yeah, a local local bar. In uh, Louisville, they got yeah. 60, 63, uh, more than that now, maybe 67, 68 machines on route there. Um, pretty nice place. So we like interviewing people like you. That's, that's our favorite. We do a face-off. That's our newest segment where everybody kept saying, we want to see you guys actually play pinball. You talk about it way too much. So are these guys any good at playing pinball? So our... First segment of Face Off was on Houdini a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. 
So the premise of it, best of three series. We play, and then the loser gets a nasty little consequence. Greg, tell them what that consequence was. It was a nice uh, smack to the face. Oh, it was. And who received that one, Greg? It was me. Um, it was. I, I thought I had it in the bag. Uh, I pulled out a six million point score good. on Houdini. That was good. And out of nowhere, Zach comes in with ten million. That's ten million, and, ladies and gentlemen. On, on Houdini, Houdini, I don't think there's anybody in this room that wouldn't think that it's six million dollars or it's six million yeah, points. Six million is good. That, that you're set. That you don't have anything to worry about. You're the one doing the smack and not receiving the smack. But I was wrong. How'd the smack feel? He, Pretty good. You would think a friend would take it easy on. Pretty hardy, huh? He, he didn't. I like so, that you guys put it in super, super slow motion. No, no, we did that. Zach put that in super <laughs> yeah. slow motion. People had to feel the slap, right? You can't just slap your friend. Does anybody else slap their friend? Hand, uh, round, uh, hand of applause round. Who, who has slapped a friend before? See, uh, there okay, we, we go. Yeah. We Honesty two, in the room. There okay. we go. Right? So you don't get to do that too often. So. <laughs> oh, we don't. Straight down the middle does not condone in domestic violence. Uh, but smacking a friend was really, <laughs> really, we do condone in that. So that was, that was a lot of fun. You guys can see that in slow motion as well as repetitive uh, replay where we do it over and over again. Is the penalty always going to be a smack to the face? It's yeah. called face off. Come on, so Jeff. So the face gets okay. slapped. But we might get a little creative. I don't know. And then we do a segment that fan favorites called This or That where we throw up um, two pins. Uh, usually submitted from you guys, the audience, on would you, I'm thinking about getting rid of my medi medieval madness and I'm thinking about getting a monster bash. This or that, what would you guys take? Medieval madness uh, or monster bash? So we'll decide that. They've become really unique and clever the way that people present some of those. So they'll say, well, I've got four data east. Would you do that or would you take the brand new Jersey Jack Pirates of the Caribbean because they're, you know, um, similar money-wise, so we'll pick things like that. Then it's got even more creative where people ask us boxers or briefs, you guys. What would you do there? We, we started getting really weird questions, and we were like, yes. this is kind of odd, but then yes. we were like, eh, you know. Well, let's go with it. We might roll with this. <laughs> Ketchup so, or mustard. That's right. And we're going to see that segment later on, uh, and you guys will be able to win some prizes if you, if you participate in that. So that is basically what Straight Down the Middle is. And now this wonderful man gets to talk about his, uh, his pinball media. Hi, I'm Jeff from This Week in Pinball. Hi, Jeff. Um, likely be something about Harry Potter. Yes. Yeah. So, <clears throat> This Week in Pinball started, I was uh, getting on an airplane to go um, down to Orlando, actually, for my real job, for a work trip. And um, while I was there, I did go to Harry Potter World by myself. <laughs> Um, Sorry, but I was, Jeff. <laughs> as I was in the airport, um, I started catching up on pinball stuff and had 15, you know, podcasts, a bunch of posts on Pinside, YouTube videos, yeah. Twitch streams, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, I was watching your stuff then. Um, and I thought it'd be really nice if somebody compiled all the highlights into just something easy to read. Whoop, there we go. Something easy to read. Um, and that is kind of how uh, This Week in Pinball was born. Show of hands, does anybody read This Week in Pinball? Look at Jeff. Oh, that's got to make you feel great. If your hand's not up, it's thisweekinpinball.com. There you go. And it was always great when Jeff got started because um, we didn't really know Jeff, but Jeff probably lived about an hour. And, me and Zach lived about an hour and a half apart, and Jeff lives about an hour and a half in the other direction from each of us. And... Um, I think Zach and, and Jeff had traded some machines at one point, once yeah. or twice. Mm -hmm. So we knew of him, but we didn't know him. And he was one of the first people to write us about our show when it started. And then out of nowhere, Jeff comes up with This Week in Pinball, which became another major player in, in pinball yeah, news and, and, and content. Yeah, and it's, I mean, you guys know, it's one of those you get into it and it just gets addictive and it's really fun to do the, the news stuff. And, yeah. Um, what is a twip? <laughs> it's this week in pinball, um, I actually, the, when I first launched it, I got some private messages, people saying, you know, you, you ripped this off from this week in baseball. Oh, I was like, yep, that's that. exactly, exactly what I did. <laughs> this week so. in baseball. Well, TWIP is on. If you Google TWIP, just T-W-I-P, it's like this week in photography, this week in... I'm assuming there's a this week in pretty everything. much every hobby that you can think of. But uh, Goals of this week in pinball, uh, for me, like I said, to have fun. 
Um, I want to help grow the hobby. A lot of people have helped me out um, in this hobby, and it's my way to kind of small way to give back in that way. Um, I've made some mistakes with the site. That's going to happen, but hopefully, you know, it's having an overall positive impact on the on the Absolutely. hobby. So. Absolutely. Um, All right. Let's see what else we got for you. Did you say I oh. look like a dentist? Oh no! Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's just for the people. Oh, this is what I'm excited about. Yeah, This Week in Pinball podcast. So when we, when I started This Week in Pinball, I always wanted to do a podcast. Um, but at that point, I thought I'd be spending about two or three hours on This Week in Pinball a week. <laughs> and it uh, spiraled from there. Um, Can you give the people just an estimation? Uh, you guys are familiar with his Monday posts, right? They're so big that now he splits them Monday and Tuesday. About how long does it take you to compile all the news, write it up, and put it in a website for Monday and Tuesday TWIP, just so that they can understand a little bit. It's kind of embarrassing. It is embarrassing. <laughs> That's why I want to tell them. No, it's probably 30 plus hours in yep. a week. So I work on it uh, every day, and then one day basically on the weekends, usually it's just cut out for um, getting everything ready for Monday. So. <laughs> Sorry, now tell them about the beautiful <laughs> pod podcast. Yeah. This is the part Zach's excited about. That's right. So we started a podcast. Um, I'd been talking to Zach about it for quite a while, mm -hmm. that I wanted to start a podcast. And we started it. We did, I think, two episodes. And I said, I don't, then have, you enough, quit. <laughs> I don't have enough time to do this. What is that? It's his podcast. So then I finally, because I wanted, to, I wanted it to be a weekly podcast. Um, it's literally called This Week in Pinball. So I wanted it to be weekly this bi-weekly in pinball would have worked yeah. anyway so he so told me to find some hosts talk to zach into uh taking over and being the main host mm -hmm. and reluctantly that's right that's right very reluctantly <laughs> but he's done an awesome job with it uh we got some uh some of our different segments here mm -hmm. pinball market trends can you fan favorite right you should probably announce that the way that you okay Everybody, pinball market trends. The seminar. The sim. The seminar. Is anybody listening to uh, this week in pinball podcast? We got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Does anybody like pinball market trends? <laughs> Your That's hands. about how it goes. Yeah. That's a running joke. Yeah. I actually had a guy tried to sell a game, and a guy actually threw that up in my face last week. What's about, that? Well, uh, Star Wars, according to Pinball Market Trends, right. is trending down. up it, this week. It's trending down, so I really can't oh, give so you that asking down. price. Training down this Thank week. you, Zach. We also do confessions right at the end of the episode where the guest host and myself tell everybody about a confession that they have. It could be a dirty, dark little secret, uh, personally, or about pinball, pinball related. Kind do you of have stuff. any good confessions right now for the people? I'm running out of confessions, man. I have nothing. I have nothing. That's a lie. No, oh, well. What I else do we do? I have a uh, pinball dance that I do at weddings. Well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, tapping into the pinball subconscious. That's, that's, another one of yours. that's another one, yeah. As well as show me yours and I'll show you mine, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very new <laughs> segment and obviously one that Zach named. That one is, uh, so basically we hear a lot of things, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And on that segment, I, I give like a little tidbit of upcoming pinball stuff that I know that the public does not know. And the co-host tries to come up with the same but a bigger boom, if you will, or a bigger reveal, or, you know, I talked about something on Monster Bash LE that was coming out, and we saw that, mm -hmm. so, yeah, mm -hmm. so we, we just kind of I like that. that one because it gives content for TWIP, too, so. Oh, this, I love this. The TWIPPY Awards, how many of you have heard of the TWIPPY Awards? Oh, that makes That's me excellent. feel good there. Yeah, so these started last year, and they are, uh, they're end-of-the-year pinball awards, and we, uh, we'll start them up while we've been working on them already, but. Yep. Um, the voting will start in December, and then what we'll do is we'll do a live show, uh, live Twippy Awards show in January. And that was uh, one of my, it may, might have been my favorite part of doing the website last year was the, the Twippy Awards oh, show, because so it, was, it was a blast. And let me, I'll just, some of the results from last year, um, best theme went to Star Wars, yeah. theme integration dialed in, uh, sound and call-outs, uh, total nuclear annihilation. Absolutely. Which, what is it, nuclear? 
No, sorry. Um, nuclear, nuclear. And we're, uh, next year we're gonna separate out the best sound and call outs. Uh, best artwork went to Aerosmith. I voted for Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I did too. Best code and rules went to Dial In. Light show went to TNA. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. Star Wars was so good. Toys Star and Wars gimmicks. is great. Yeah, that was up there. Mm -hmm. Dialed in too. Uh, toys and gimmicks dialed in. Yeah. Playfield layout and gameplay also dialed in. Display and animations dialed, dialed in. Dialed in took it home last year. Game of the year. Game of the year. Dialed in and it was uh, close with uh, TNA. Mm -hmm. So let me go back to this here. That's a great question. So this year we're, we've got a, a Twippy committee. Exclusive. It's got a nice ring to it. I don't think I've said it's that Twippy that committee, yeah. Um, and we've got uh, some of the like, well-respected people in the industry, and we're going to talk to them about that, uh, about which should be, um, which games should be included and shouldn't be included. Uh, and just get their advice on a lot of things. They're going to go through and verify the votes at the end. Yeah, because people are saying, oh, you could have skewed the votes. And yeah. That was a pin cider, by the way. Does it sound like the pin cider? Oh, you <laughs> skewed the votes. There's pin ciders in here. You man. guys are lying. But, but you know what was great about the Twippies? Um, when, when Jeff had first announced it, Zach had called me and he was like, you know what, we, sh we, should, we should stream these live. We should make this a, a, an event. It was going to be a website thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and Zach pitched it hard and, and continued to pitch it to Jeff. And again, Jeff, Jeff was very reluctant to uh, work with us. He's very reluctant with me in general. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, mainly Zach, not day. me, yeah. yeah. But, um, and it was kind of funny because, you know, I think it started off as a joke to a lot of people. Um, the, yeah, and a lot of manufacturers, the, like nobody really wanted to take it serious. And I don't know how serious that, that me and Zach took it. I don't know about Jeff. Uh, it was his baby, so I'm sure he was taking it very mm -hmm. serious. Yeah, he took but it serious. But then as time went on, it, it seemed like that people started kind of pushing themselves and their games on people. You know, people started taking it serious. You started seeing uh, other podcasters and everybody kind of, hey, vote for me. Yeah. And it slowly grew, and it kind of became competitive by the time voting took place. And we had a great turnout on Twitch. Uh, a lot of votes. It. Yeah, lots of votes. Um, and. I think that it, it snowballed very quickly into something that people actually became proud of to, to get an award last year, and yep. I think this year is going to be ten times that. Even I think it was also cool. Uh, uh, Jack Danger of Dead Flip messaged me and said uh, that he was going over to Scott Denise's house, mm -hmm. and they were going to have a Twippy party. Yeah, like an Oscar for that. party. And then he was going to stream after that. Uh -huh. That was, uh, I thought, uh, yeah. I hope Mr. That Danger took home an uh, award. He did. He? Yes, he did. Best, as best as Twitch Mr. Streamer. Denise, he did. Um, we're going to have some more categories next year. Like I said, we're going to separate out the sun, uh, sound and call outs. Uh, best pinball show is going to be um, one that's got up for discussion. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's whoa, already started. <laughs> well, make sure you guys vote. Uh, what else? Best homebrew pinball machine. Um, oh, I like that. I didn't yeah, know about that one. I think we're going to try to I put like that, that in there. Um, and then we'll, like I said, we'll talk to the committee. I'm sure they have some uh, some better ideas. Well, we've solidified the committee, but I'll, I'll wait to announce that until. What? Should I announce it now? Yeah. What are right. These people are willing to sit here and listen to this? Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to have Steve Bowden on. Woo, Stevie B. And then Lloyd Olson. Um, Everybody loves Lloyd. LTG on, mm -hmm. on Pinside. And Colin McAlpine is the other one that. Um, right. And then we've Solid. got uh, a guy that his name is Will Oedding, and he is uh, he helps me with uh, some website stuff, and he's going to help us with kind of getting the votes set up on the website mm -hmm. in, in the best way. So that way, so. there's other people that are overseeing. We want to make this as objective as possible. We want to be able to give you the pinball award show each and every year. Uh, so to do that, we needed a little bit more help. Objectivity yeah. there. Yeah. And sponsors, right? Hopefully we can get some yeah. sponsors this year. Had to add the hopefully there. So right. we're hopefully. if anybody's interested, talk That's to us right. after the show. That's right. So I think at, the, at this point, does anybody have any suggestions or what they would like to see uh, on the Twippies, whether it's this year or subsequent years? Uh, 
anything that, as you guys watched the Twippies last year, or think about pinball awards in general, anything you'd like to see? Go ahead. Oh, so best yes. on location pinball? That's interesting. That's a good idea. That is interesting. Anything else? We did that damn good, really? If you guys have any suggestions, you can always email Jeff here at thisweekinpinball at gmail.com. Is that yes. it? Yes, yeah. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you for that suggestion. All right, let's get through these. Anything else you wanted to add to no, that? No, are we ready to do this or that? Oh. oh this man. or. Come on. That's all you there, Zach. No, it's not. It's, it's a computer, I promise. No, it's not. It's an old PowerPoint or something. I got here, and these guys had all this equipment and a banner. I brought a water bottle. You brought and in uh, great <laughs> SDTM fashion, Zach forgot our memory card, so we couldn't record it for YouTube. <laughs> this happens every time we record. We forget something. Something messes up. So let's play some this or that. Is anybody up for some this or that? Okay. That's a good, fair, fair return there. All right. So, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. So here's, here's how it goes. Greg, this or that. You're going to go for the new Monster Bash remake. Or American Pinball's Oktoberfest. Ooh, tricky one there. So we've got the tried and true, the classic, and Monster Bash remake. We'll call it, let's see, what's, uh, we don't know what Oktoberfest is going to run money wise, do we? Let's say it's similar to, is that right? Thank you. Okay. So if it's around 7,000, eh, you're close to a Monster Bash yeah. LE, likely. I don't know what the pricing is on that, but. So we'll say it's an LE. I, yeah. I, like, I like the topper on Monster Bash. I, mm. I love the expanded display. Um, I, I love what they did with the lighting. But I, I think that I would have... Are you about to go Oktoberfest? I think I'd have to go Oktoberfest just because okay. I've played the... I played a lot of Monster Bash. So I, I think point. I'd try something new, and I, I'm super intrigued by the corkscrew ramp oh, and everything yeah. on, on Oktoberfest. Show of hands, has anybody played Oktoberfest yet? Okay. It's gonna, I think it's going to be out there all weekend, right? I think so. I'm going to go, oh, man. Now, th now, we're live. This is not like where you can just sit there Edited and stall. Out. I'm going to go Oktoberfest because, and here's why, it may not be the better game here, guys. Monster Bash is a classic for a reason. Maybe even, uh, I think it's hard to say that Oktoberfest is going to be a better objective game. It's uh, the new hotness. Monster. Right? But yeah. I want to play something new. Yeah. And right now, new is Oktoberfest. So as a show of hands, this or that, everybody, who's going to pick Monster Bash Remake Ellie? Okay. Okay. And who's going with Oktoberfest by American Pinball? Ooh. I think Monster Bash wins. What's that? <laughs> you can get both. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can't go both. We tried to go both one time, and we got in we'll, trouble. We'll, we got, we're, we about got, to sh we're about to fix it. Yeah, we, we, got, we got too much backlash. Dave Fix says, go both, everybody. How about that? <laughs> go both. It looks like I, I'm thinking visually Monster Bash won that one, right? I think so, too. All right, and then where's our T-shirt? Sure. Okay, for a T-shirt, would anybody be willing to stand up and explain their reasoning of why they would go one or the other? Free T-shirt. Go ahead, stand up. What's your name? Uh, Jeff Murphy. Hey, nice to meet you. So which one? Which one are you going? Monster you said Monster Bash. They, it's yeah. supposed the to work. Is, it's yeah. supposed to work on this one. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. What size shirt are you, buddy? Okay. Any any arguments there? What size shirt are you? Okay. And if you guys, we, you can come afterwards if you want to. If you don't want to, you know, say your size. Try to be fair here. This or that, everybody. Oh, so here's the deal on this one. Last this or that that we had, we, we had Houdini or Hobbit. Greg and I are fans of both, uh, pretty big fans of both. And uh, we couldn't pick. We said, we did the day fix thing, we said both. And First boy, time we'd ever done that. Boy, oh boy, did we get some kickback for that. It was a little rough. We got some heat for it. Uh, people said, all right, bullshit, guys, come on. That right. Very true. Uh, uh, you were the one who said that in our in our comments. I bet you were one of those that's, emails. That's right. We even got private emails on that one. You're yeah. You're compromising the segment by picking both. Okay. That was another pin too. Uh, yeah. So we've got to pick. 
We've got a pick. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Oh, it this or that? Or Jeff. Uh, the, where, where are you going here, Jeff? I'm also, okay, the Monster Bash, all of the remakes, the um, displays are my favorite part. Um, but I'm also going to Oktoberfest oh because my. It's, oh, wow. it's new, it's fresh, and I like exploring a new game. How about so. it? Okay. Nice. So, Greg, let's, let's figure this out, bud. Which one are you going? Yeah. Yeah. I've recently got a Houdini in the house. You did. And after Zach had always told me, I, we always loved the game from the start. And Zach, you know, just, but Zach was head over heels about it like he is anything. You like, got to uh, own it. Penn Stadium lights, uh, yeah. you know, he, he goes all in. So, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty solid on Houdini at this point. I, it's got some speed. Okay. Everything is tight. I know we're, this is going to get hatred. But I, it's all These Houdini. These are two machines that kind of get a bad rap, too. Would everybody yeah, both agree them, on yeah, that? Yeah, both of them do. They kind of get a bad rap. A lot of people hate both these machines. A lot of people love both of these machines. So you're going Houdini? Definitely Houdini. Uh, I think I'm going to go Hobbit here. Um, Hobbit because it's Jam I can't say it's jam-packed. Houdini's jam-packed. It's beautiful. I can't say that. Houdini's beautiful. This well, is what this we is what we ran into time. last time. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go Hobbit because it's just a beast and it's a monster and it's the prettiest thing in the room. It whenever is probably one of the prettiest lit. machines there. But so, they're, like you said, they're both they're both. And there's probably, 31 modes. Yeah. How about that? Two of the most beautiful pins you could have in your home, honestly. Okay, show of uh, let's go with you first before show of hands here. Hobbit or Houdini? I'll do both. Oh, come oh. on. Jeffrey. I'm oh, kidding. See, <laughs> see there, I'm telling you. Imagine the messages we got. No, right? I, These I are would, nice uh, people in front of you. I would go with The Hobbit. You're going with um, The Hobbit. Any reason why? I think why? the, uh, I love JJP machines. Um, oh, they are the nice. uh, theme integration with The Hobbit is nice. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no perfect pinball machine, but uh, there's just so much to do in The Hobbit. And I love the journey of it. Um, new code? New code. They're back again? Yeah. Right? So, I love Houdini too, but uh, I would go with The Hobbit. So, by a show of hands, who would go with Houdini? Uh oh, Ooh. it was going to be mixed again here. And those who are going Hobbit. Oh, oh. some Zach fans out there. I think, I think was, Hobbit's yeah. running. I away, saw some so. two handers out there. Oh, did you? <laughs> Cheaters. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. The independent vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, with, a, with a hand, um, who would like to tell us? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your, your call. I'm not going to get any of them. We'll do both of them. How about yeah, that? we'll do both of you guys. Uh, I love the theme. I love the theme. Okay. I love the long shot. The shot. How great is that? Yeah. Well, let's go. We'll go with you. Yeah. That's a good point. Very good point. The, but you can yeah. make them. Type by findable, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll add one here. Okay. Oh. No. How dare you, sir? Yes. Sit down. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, that's a really good point. JP for DeWin, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can agree with all those. Very nice, very nice. All right, moving on. Okay. Let's make this one a quick one because I got a new little this or that segment I'm going to throw on you. haven't... Uh, you do get the money. So this one is Deadpool Pro, and because it is cheaper substantially than Houdini, you're going to get Deadpool Pro plus, plus some cash. Um, let's see. What's Deadpool Pro? So you get about, I don't know, 1000 bucks in cash plus Deadpool Pro or Houdini. Gregory? From the start, I was never a big fan of Deadpool. Um, even though I did play one that was set up a little better, I played the. I finally got to play a premium here. I guess it was the premium. Yeah, it was premium, not the LE. And it actually did. It, it played and flowed a lot better uh, than the the both the pros that I'd played. But I'm still just not a big fan of it. I know it's still some of the early code. 
Um, I know that they are expanding that code and expanding some modes and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. um, but and normally I, I am that, You're about that, to go that tight one, and I, I'm normally the one that if I get a little Pretty cash on top or I can get two machines right. for one, I go that route. But I'm still going to have to go Houdini. Wow. Wow. We Okay. Um, I'll make it short and sweet. I'm going to go Houdini. Uh, dare I say that Houdini actually shoots better than Deadpool tomatoes? <laughs> Yeah, right? Does anybody agree that, uh, that uh, Houdini shoots better than Deadpool? I'm going to get a couple. I've got one, but he didn't want to He didn't want to be seen. <laughs> They're okay. scared. They're going to have to be escorted out. Look at Mr. Fix, right? What's that? No. <laughs> that's, that's right. No, I can, I can hit the inside orbit of Houdini a heck of a lot easier than that uh, Katana ramp shot. I, I, I just can. I, I just can. can. I agree. All right, go ahead. Jeffrey. I am also going to go with Houdini, oh and here's goodness. the reason. Oh. I have a feeling the audience won't, so it'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. Here's my issue with Deadpool is I'm not it's a beautiful. Great, it is. It's beautiful. There's a lot of things that I like about it. Um, I like Animation's the things. The animation is fantastic. Music's great. I, it's a pet peeve of mine when there are shots that if I nail them that they don't register or don't because I'm not good enough of a player to actually make the shot I was trying to make and not have it complete the shot. Mm -hmm. um, then both of these pins are kind of... Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. I was going to say because you kind of get into a... a yeah. Up on there. yeah, not the key lane. But I but think uh, that with Deadpool, there's a few more. The the long ramp, uh, Katana ramp, mm -hmm. um, and, and this was on just on the one that I played. Um, the right orbit sometimes gets caught up. Um, and it comes back in the shooter lane. Yeah. <sighs> And then the little loop shot, which I like the idea of that shot, the one, and I've, I've, I think that one may have been a setup issue because I've heard a lot of people say that that works on the one that they're playing, but that one's been a... You're being kind, aren't you? Getting... Show of hands, everybody. Deadpool Pro plus 1,500 cash. Oh, surprisingly lower than I thought. Okay. Or Houdini. Look at oh, this. Yeah. Like, I would have never guessed it. Have Especially what the groans Houdini when love. I said Houdini. I, I heard right. some groans out there. Okay. Right. Can I make a comment? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just think the Houdini is a better build. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some good points. Yeah, we both own one. Uh, American yeah. Pinball machines are, especially the cabinet, really, really built well. Yeah. Dave? Yeah. 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 That's, uh, I told Joe Balser, I'm not, eh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Give me my five A's. Very good points yeah. there. Very good points. Okay. We're going to skip through a couple of these. We've got a new part, a new little segment. You've never heard of this one. Okay, so this was submitted, and then real quick, I wanted to thank uh, Travis Lancaster. He's the one who submitted Deadpool Pro plus Cash or Houdini on our YouTube, so thank you, Travis. All right, so this is from our boy. Goes by Yellow Bird on Pinside. He goes by Troublemaker. Sweet, super sexy Dave uh, from the Mod Couple. I think he's out there, right? Oh, uh, look, there he is. So did he give you this idea? He gave me this idea that uh, his first word started with an F, but it didn't end in Ling. <laughs> so I made it a little more PC, and we're going to call this Fling, Marry, or Kill. So out of these three machines. Oh, I get it now. Okay, you okay, get it? Okay, You've yes, got to pick one just for a little, oh, I like okay. playing this one overnight, right? You get to pick one that's so you're rude. all Leave it to that. bolted to the floor, and you get to pick one that you get to Todd Tucky off the building. Oh my kill Lord. it! Right. We got to kill one of these? Oh, I, got, gotta, I, I know it, though. The I, name implies, right? I know right? it. I know it. So, Greg, uh, this one's fling, easy for me. marry, or kill? Fling is Houdini. Okay. Um, because she can the, the pin, I don't know how to, I gotta, 
I gotta be very be, diplomatic. Uh, be, be safe now. <laughs> we, we can't edit this out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there, Greg. It's a beautiful woman, man. <laughs> Houdini's fast and fun. <laughs> Um, oh, I can see so this my go. Um, I, I oh, love, you're really I, taking it literally. Okay. Love, yeah, I'm taking it literal. Yeah, all right. I, uh, Star Wars is, uh, it, I, even though I, I actually just put mine up for sale, um, I, I, I haven't sold it yet, so I'm thinking about pulling that. But um, it, it would be my Mary pin, man. I, I okay. really enjoyed a lot of aspects of that pin, even though I was hard on it. And Circus Voltaire is just not <sighs> deep enough for me. So Circus Voltaire is my kill. See, Dave knows this very well because I am in love with all three of these machines. Totally in love. Oh, they're all. Okay, totally yeah. in love. I'm going to go uh, for time purposes. But I'm they all found out about each other, and you've got to choose one. I can't kill Voltaire, but I guess I'm going to kill Voltaire. I'm going to cop out. Killing Voltaire until they remake it. Uh, I'm going to marry Star Wars. Because it's Star Wars. Good Lord. And then Houdini. I'll fling around on Houdini. What's yours? Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going this to... This makes Jeff real uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm going to fling Circus Voltaire. Oh. Mary Star Wars. Okay. And going you against... You own Star Wars as well, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I like it a lot better than I thought I would. You're, um, you're and going against Houdini. like everything that I was... Been talking about I'm absolutely gonna apparently kill Houdini so. okay all right so there's that there's that okay all right I know which one I'm gonna kill <laughs> all right which one uh, you want me to go I'll go yeah, first go here. first on this. I gotta think about it all right oh this one's tough I'm, I'm killing Deadpool love you Deadpool our homie Gomi love George Gomez but uh, we're gonna kill Deadpool fling and marry we are going to we're gonna marry TNA that's who we're going to marry. You know why? Because I'm never going to get to Reactor 9. It's never going to happen. And then we'll fling around on Creature. We're going we're gonna to get tired of the rules, and then we're going to sell it. it. I agree with Kill Deadpool. Uh, that was the easiest out. Okay. Now, the next two were a little tougher for me. Um, and I, I think I'd have to change it up on yours a little bit. I, I think mm -hmm. I'd have a fling with, with Total. Okay. Because, I, again, I just, uh, even though it's fast, it's fun, I'm never going to get to Reactor 9. Again, I plateau on games. Uh, I'll get to Reactor 5 or something, and then that's probably where I'm going to be stuck yeah. at, get fed up with the game and not want anything to do with it. Uh, creature's not super deep, but it's beautiful, and it's Creature. It's gorgeous. It's, it's it, Yeah, it's your universal monster. It's fantastic. Yeah. So I, that's probably what I'd be okay. married to, love. Mr. Patterson. But, I feel like we need somebody up here to defend Deadpool. But go ahead. Just been no, no, you got, you got to give your. There are a opinion, lot of. Good, there that's are not how this show works. Deadpool. This show is. We don't take feelings into account. I'm going to kill Deadpool. Oh, um, poor Deadpool. Fling is going to be TNA. And then Mary is going to be Creature. She, uh, my favorite TNA music. TNA is worth more than that. Thank you very much. She deserves more. She does. Yes, she does. But, Round of applause. Does TNA deserve to be married? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. She doesn't. Creature, nope. though, has favorite. Yeah, it's favorite it's music in pinball, I think. Ooh, I just said that over TNA. Wow. No. All right. Okay. So now we're going we're gonna to skip this one because this one is way too hard for me. Dave, that one was, that's not nice at all. No, we're not doing that. Right? We'll end it with this one Coca Cola or Pepsi? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> R Somebody say RC hey, Cola. Hey, I'm an RC drinker. Who's at RC? RC. Whoa, here we go. That's all we buy. Double Cola. Greg, which one are you going there? You don't even drink sodas as much, do you? No. Only when I'm at your house. Okay. Which one are you going? Uh, Pepsi. Thank you. Pepsi. I I'm addicted to Pepsi. That's why probably why they put that in there. I drink way too many. I don't drink either of those, but I'll drink or I'll pick Coke because of the marketing. <laughs> because of the market? <laughs> no, marketing. Oh, marketing. Oh, okay. Marketing. Polar yeah, bears Coca -Cola. do something yeah. for you? Polar Their bears. shares are up this week. What's that? Oh, that would be a nice okay. answer. <laughs> okay. okay. I, go, I go through about as many Pepsis as you do beer. I would say that's fair. I don't know. You go through a lot of beer. <laughs> Show of hands, let's go Coca-Cola here. Polar oh, bear. I knew it. Polar bear. Let's go the people that actually know cola, Pepsi. Okay, so we got smart people. And just there. for the fun of it, RC. RC, there. Okay, there's. There's my brothers. El Cheapy over here. 
Hey there, all right, everybody, that's it. Any quick questions? I know we're running close on time. We do appreciate you guys all coming up here. Um, also, if you guys want to buy a T-shirt, catch us in the vendor hall. We're going to be at Penn Stadium booth. We'll be at Flipping Out Pinball booth, a little bit of everywhere. Greg's the T-shirt guy, so get a hold of him. He will get you that T-shirt. Our Any shirts for sale are a uh, little different than the ones we gave out. They're the, uh, they're the ones we are currently wearing. With the favorite sayings on the back from the, the show. Back. Terrific. Any questions? Any questions? You guys are kind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've got one sitting in. Uh, uh, it'll be before the end of the year. I've got I've got a design ready. To, well, not really a design. It's the logo, but um, I just haven't had time to print them off. And but soon. That's right. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> You'll see in two weeks, right? <laughs> Any other questions? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Patreon. Yeah. We've we, thought we've, about that. We've doing looked that. at it, yeah. We're just trying to figure out um, our tiers and what we want to be able to give give our donation or whoever donates to us so that we can, you know, what, what kind of what kind of gift can, what can we can give them back. Yeah, you don't I, have I to, no. but yeah, it's just no. A sticker, button, something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. By request. This just in, another this or that. <sighs> That's a tough one. Okay. This or that EM or solid state? Wow. <laughs> now, solid state, are we talking solid state alphanumeric? Are we talking? Let's split it all up. EMs, solid state alphanumeric, or DMDs and above. Okay, Greg. I'm going solid state. Which one? Which solid state? Are we going alphanumeric or are we going DMD and up? Oh, uh, I'd go DM, DMD and up. Okay, absolutely. Yes. Sorry, EM guys out there. They're fun, but. Rob, Rob you brought this up, so yeah. you, what are you, you going, have to give Rob? us your opinion on this. All right, let's go. 50s or 60s? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You working on them more or playing them, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> What are you going, Jeff? Oh, 50s or 60s? Yeah. No, not, uh, just solid state or EM or? I'll go solid state. Okay, show of hands. Yeah. We're going EM. There's the lovely more. EM people. Let's go solid state. Mm. Nice. And then solid state alphanumeric. <laughs> There's the system hey, 11 fans good. There out go. there, right? Lion the Man. Numbers? Okay. And then DMDs. You know how I'd pick that. All right, game planner Alvin G. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.